Hi there, coming to you with my TV collection. Um, this is all DVD, Blu-ray, TV shows that I've collected. Um, there's quite a few uh, movies that are associated associated with the show that I threw in because it just made sense to do that. Um, and yeah, uh, there's a few shows that I'd like to get, like to upgrade uh, to Blu-ray. I really want to get the Big Bang Theory. Preferably when it's done, and hopefully they release like a nice box set. Um, the Walking Dead, I would love to get that all on Blu-ray. Same deal. Once it's done, I hope they release some sort of box set. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. Not waste much time. I'm going to start at the bottom shelf here and move my way up. So yeah, start things off with Man vs. Wild here with Bear Grylls. Here's Season... Actually, that's Season 2. Season 1 here. Collection 1. Great stuff. Season 2. Really like Man, uh, Man vs. Wild. Lots of good episodes. Just this dude who goes around the world to all these crazy places and tries to make it through the terrain. Uh, he also does a show called Running Wild where, where he does the same idea with celebrities. Quite a few other shows as well, but this show and Running Wild are probably the ones I like best. And, uh, the only show other like this that I really enjoy is uh, Dual Survival. And there's lots of shows like this, but this is the, this and Dual Survival are pretty much it for me. Um, Sur Survivor Man's pretty good too, but kind of boring. This is actually entertaining. Um, yeah, season three here. Great season. Season four with an interesting, I don't know if you can see that, lenticular cover. This one they changed the package design, which is kind of annoying when all the rest are in awesome like plastic things, but whatever. Lots of good episodes. Season five. Good stuff there. And the final season, season six. Kind of wish they would have just continued this show for as long as people watched it, but I guess it probably got pretty hard to do on his, him, his family, you know, that sort of deal. Moving on, the Blu-ray box set of Planet Earth, the complete series. I wouldn't mind to get Life as well, but I just never see it for a decent enough price in my opinion. This is uh, one of the first Blu-rays I've ever had. If you want to check out what blu high definition really looks good, uh, what it looks like if you're still a DVD guy or girl and uh, you kind of want to see what the big hoopla is, I don't know how you wouldn't be uh, known by now, but if you didn't, watch this compared to the original versions and holy Christ, does it look good. Amazing documentaries on... the just everything in the world, <laughs> every sort of plant life, uh, animal life in the world, great, great documentary, it's like multiple, I think it's like ten parts, something, something like that, I might be wrong, The Muppet Show, season one here, great show from, I believe the 70s, this one I watched mostly through syndication, growing up, a little before my time, uh, season two here. A lot of the guests, um, some of them I know, some of them I don't, but still, all the bits and the Muppet stuff is really, very, really funny. And season three with good old Fozzie Bear. Yeah, and this is the Muppets that I actually grew up watching on TV all the time. It's kind of like the same idea as the original one, but more like a, a kind of like variety show at night sort of deal. And yeah, this is a this isn't released on DVD at all, so I went ahead and found the episodes on the internet and made a little bootleg of, bootleg of it. Did some custom art, pretty cool. Lots of cool guests here. As you can see, awesome stuff. I love this show. I still do. It's great stuff. The Muppets. Uh, I also like the new Muppet show that is on. ABC, I believe, or whatever. It's a great show. I, I really find it funny. Great idea for the Muppets as well. But uh, if you know anything about the Muppets, they've done lots of movies. So Muppets, Wizard of Oz, these aren't in really any particular order or anything, but uh, just movies beside the show. Muppets, Wizard of Oz. A lot of people hate this movie, but I, I don't find it that bad. It's, it's not great or anything, but it's decent enough Wizard of Oz story. 
Um, it's a very, very, uh, very merry Muppet Christmas movie. I really enjoy this Christmas movie. I think it's very well done. Um, not quite as good as Christmas Carol, but still pretty good. Letters to Santa. Muppets, a Muppets, a Muppets Christmas. Not really that great. It's okay, but not really that great. Amazing. I watch this every year. Probably my second or third version of the Christmas Carol. Uh, the It's Not Easy Being Scrooge special edition of the Muppet Christmas Carol. 20th anniversary. Looks amazing on Blu-ray. Pretty much all the rest of the Muppet movies I do have on Blu-ray. Here's the original classic Muppet movie. Awesome movie. Really funny. This is uh, the double pack of Pigs and Pirates. Sorry, the other way around. Whatever. Muppet Treasure Island. Another one. I went and seen uh, Christmas Carol in the theater. Also seen Treasure Island in the theater. Really love that movie. <coughs> And the Great Muppet Caper, which is also pretty, pretty awesome. Then you got Muppets in Manhattan. Good times. Do enjoy this movie as well. And, uh, I don't know. I, I would consider this a little underrated. I don't hear a lot of people saying how that they love it, but I really enjoy this one. Uh, Muppets from Space. Good, good movie. Gonzo finds out his relatives are aliens. <laughs> or, not... Not Gonzo. Uh oh, I'm drawing a blank. What's his name? No, oh, it is Gonzo. Durr. Having a brain fart. And here's the relaunched uh, movies that eventually did lead to the repopular, or like making the show popular again enough for them to make a TV show out of it. The The Muppets, Disney's The Muppets. This is a really good movie. I enjoy it a lot. And the sequel. Muppets Most Wanted. I also really enjoy this one as well. It's not quite as good as the first Disney Muppets movie, but it's good. Moving up. Don't want to spend a lot of time. Six Feet Under here, the first season. Great, great show about this family running a, mor uh, a mortuary. It's, it's a really good show. Great characters. Cool, dark sense of humor. Great storytelling. Created by Alan Ball, who did movies like uh, American Beauty. Here's season two. Cool art as well, like I said. Season three. Season four. And season five. There is a box set for this, but I actually kind of like these individual... Uh, season releases of it. They're just very nice. And I don't think it's on Blu-ray. Might be wrong about that. I got The Sopranos, the complete series here. I love this show. It's probably one of my all-time favorite shows. I really, really want to get the box set on Blu-ray and uh, sell these eventually. Season 1. Don't really need to talk too much about this. Uh, just a mob boss who has two sort of deal. He's dealing with his mob family and he's dealing with his family and everything else that comes in between his gumars and everything the sopranos the first season really cool these open up like kinda like cigar boxes great episodes such an amazing show so well done the sopranos the second season here family redefined Get in there, you. season three really great season the show just kept getting better to me. I I I loved it. I loved the finale as well. It took me a while to really kind of like. Uh, at first, I didn't really love the finale, but the more I thought about it and I watched it a few times, I really did think it was extremely effective and well done. Just not the first time because I literally thought my TV broke or something. <laughs> Sopranos fourth season, awesome, awesome stuff. Season five. With Cousin Tony, played by Steve Buscemi. Great stuff. I love that cover. It's so wicked. Season 6. The prelude to the final season. This is Season 6, Part 1. Good stuff. And the final season, which has awesome artwork. Season 6, Part 2. Love that. Love that. And... 
Here's a bottle of True Blood. Pretty cool. And the show, the complete season series of True Blood. Don't necessarily need to upgrade these or anything, but whatever. Wouldn't mind. If they made a Blu-ray box set that was cheap enough, but here's season one. Pretty much about vampires make coming out from hiding into the mainstream and uh, mingling with normal people. Also created by Six Feet Under creator, American Beauty, Alan Ball. True Blood. All these shows, by the way, are on HBO. And here's season two. Yeah, they're all backwards here, kind of. Season two. I really love the main villain in season two. Mary Ann, I believe is her name. Is the werewolves. And the first five seasons of the show are freaking fantastic. It does sort of get a little carried away in the last two seasons. Here's season four. Sookie. Sookie. In a love triangle. Great characters in this show. If you like horror and stuff like that, you should definitely watch True Blood. I remember when Twilight came out, I was like, fuck Twilight, watch True Blood, to anyone who ever even mentioned it. <laughs> I'm like, you get your vampires, you get your romance, without all the bullshit. Here is season six. It was still good, season six, but uh, it was starting to go downhill. And really, really terrible finale to this show. But the journey is good. Just that last episode is just kind of stupid. Speaking of finales, Six Feet Under still, to me, has one of the best all-time finales of all time. Oh, <laughs> that was a little redundant. All-time finales of all time, but whatever. Uh, True Detective Season 1. Absolutely, positively love Season 1 of this show. Um, season 2, I did not really enjoy at all. It's kind of all over the place. It, was st it had its moments, but overall I didn't really like it. Uh, hopefully Season 3, if they make one, <coughs> gets a little better. But even if they never do, I, I would probably only get Season 2 if it was extremely oh, cheap. Uh, <laughs> but I love Season 1. The best part about it is it's standalone season, so if you don't like Season 2, you don't necessarily have to get it. But yeah. True Detective, an amazing performance by Matthew McConaughey, equally awesome from Woody Harrelson. Great story. Amazing storytelling in that show. Not an HBO show, but a really good show uh, from CBS, I believe. Jericho. It only lasted, well, initially only got one season, and then it got cancelled, but people loved it so much and wanted it to come back that they protested and eventually the show came back with a seven episode season two to kind of wrap things up great great show awesome stuff it's about like these this nuclear sort of uh blast that goes off in this rural area and all the people are left to pick up the pieces and figure out what the hell happened and all that jazz and things start falling apart really great show i really wish it would have got a little bit more legs, you know, like get more seasons, but oh well, it, it is what it is and it's pretty good. Well, let me just sit up a little bit more here. Here's Band of Brothers, awesome World War II show from HBO as well. A lot of these shows are HBO. Uh, Band of Brothers from Spielberg and Tom Hanks, really awesome miniseries, about 10 episodes all about an hour. Awesome, awesome World War II show. Really big production values. If you like Saving Private Ryan, you're going to like Band of Brothers. And the sequel to Band of Brothers on the other side of the war. Um, this one has to do with most of the, the Europe continents and all that. And this one has to do with the Japanese fight uh, side of it in the Pacific. Really great as well. Not quite as good as Band of Brothers, but still pretty great. I hear that they're doing one... Uh, Birds of War, something like that. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I heard about it online, and I really hope they do. That'd be great. And I wouldn't mind getting them on Blu-ray, but I just got them recently on DVD really cheap, so I don't think I could see myself re-upping them. Here's The Wire. Probably my favorite show of all time. Uh, 
Breaking Bad's right beside it for a reason, because it, it's very close, but The Wire Season 1, I'd really love to upgrade this to Blu-ray. They have a nice box set for it. Such an amazing cop show. And just amazing show in itself. It's kind of like putting a mirror up to society. And you might not like what you see. That's season one. Each season's quite different, but there's an overall story that connects them all. The second season. I really enjoy this season. I know some people didn't like it. Season three. Awesome stuff. Season four. Really cool when you start meeting all this new generation. And season five, which I really do enjoy. I think they did. They also did an amazing job with the finale of this show. Here's Breaking Bad with my little Heisenberg Blue Meth, which is just some sugar candy that uh, some dude was selling on eBay like a year, two years ago. Uh, here's Breaking Bad season one. Really great show. This I definitely. This will probably be. It would be a toss-up between The Wire and this. I really want to upgrade though this and get that barrel set on Blu-ray. It just is so awesome. But for now, this will have to do. I've already rewatched it in HD on Netflix. It was fantastic. Breaking Bad, Season 1. Season 2, Patch. Season 3, the third season, Jesse! Season 4. Season 5, All Hail the King, and you know his name. Remember it, Breaking Bad Season... I call it Season 6, but I guess it's technically Part 2 of Season 5. I, I don't know, I can't remember exactly how it works. I just consider 6 seasons, because these two are about the same length. Close, anyways. Tales from the Crypt, this is an amazing show I grew up on. I used to, this with Beavis and Butthead, I used to sneak out in the middle of the night from my house. I wasn't allowed to be out that late or even be watching this show or Beavis and Butthead. But I didn't give a fuck because I loved it that much. And I used to sneak out and go over, lived right across the road from one of my friends. And we used to watch it in his basement. <laughs> and uh, loved this show. So, so kind of like a creep show anthology, anthology sort of deal. Just weekly with half hour episodes of awesome presented by the... The Crypt Keeper. Hello, boils and ghouls. Great episodes on season one. Here's season two. Season three. Season four, which took me the longest to find. I don't know why, but it was kind of annoying. Great episode with Joe Pesci on season four. And this show really had a lot of amazing guests. It's also HBO. It's brought... It's made... Uh, like the guys who created it, Richard Donner, uh, Walter Hill, Joel, Joel Silver, Robert Zemeckis, really good creative forces behind it. Season 5, Season 6, and Season 7, which has probably one of the worst final episodes of all the shows I own. Just this. It's a, it's a cool episode, but it's kind of shitty. In the, at the same moment, it's like an animated one. It's not really what the show really did. It's weird. And here's the two movies. Demon Knight and Bord Bordello of Blood. I like Demon Knight quite a bit. Bordello of Blood's only okay. House. MD. Really good uh, draw, uh, hospital drama. Amazing character from Hugh Laurie as Dr. House. Awesome, awesome character. Got all the seasons of this show. Season 2. Season 3. Season 4 where he really shook things up. Didn't expect that when I saw it on TV. Season 5. Season 6. I really like how they stayed the same. I just kind of wish they were in like normal cases or something. like this, So that they all match size wise. Like there will be ones... That are like that, and then all of a sudden these have, like, yeah, it's kind of annoying. But it is what it is. Season 7, great season. And the final season, which had an amazing final episode. So yeah, season 8. Like season 8 quite a bit. Gonna stand up. So yeah, I got the... I don't own any of the Family Guy seasons just because there's so many and 
Honestly, I don't really need to, at least at this point, anyways. Uh, but I really do like Family Guy. I watch it on Netflix all the time. Family Guy, Blue Harvest, something, 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 Dark Side, and It's a Trap. Really cool uh, parody sort of deal for the Star Wars trilogy. Love these movies. They're so fucking awesome. Um, so I got The Simpsons, a complete DVD collection. It really annoys me that they're not going to be coming back with anymore, but whatever. I hope eventually one day they pick them back up. But here's season one. Season two. Season three. Season four. Five. Six. I just got these this year, and I've been slowly making my way through them. Oh, did I miss season seven? Season eight, I'm watching right now. Season nine. And uh, I still have them sealed. When I move on to a new ep new season, I unseal them. Season 10. Season 11. 12. Simpsons, such a classic. Great show. Still going strong. I think the new season, 27, is better than ever. Season 13. 14. 15, great cover with auto. 16. <laughs> 17, Sideshow Bob, really cool embossed hair. <laughs> and then, again, they could have at least did 18 and 19, then stopped, but goes 17, jumps right to 20th. This came out during the 20th year of the show. Simpsons, 20 years, season 20. Really cool artwork. I've seen it opened and it's really cool. And the movie here. Love this movie. It's fucking hilarious. Also got... Oh. Rescue Me. Really love this firefighter show. Uh, about Dennis Leary here. and He worked as a firefighter during 9-11. Now he's haunted by his past and his his problems. Season 1, very funny show to me. I really love it. Season 2. Season 3. Season 4. Great season. Season 5, uh, Part 1. Season 5, Part 2. I did think they were going to end it, because, like, you know, it was a Part 2 season, so started to think it was doing a Sopranos, but then they came back with a 6th and a 7th season, and uh, really liked the finale of the show as well, and I just love the show, I've watched it through at least 3 times, and I really never get sick of it, very funny, really well acted overall. Moving on, my favorite comedy show, I'm Canadian so I'm kind of biased, but I absolutely love the Trailer Park Boys. I got the Trailer Park Boys Christmas Special, and I got the re-release of the Christmas Special. Watch this every year, so I figured might as well have two copies, because uh, eventually I'll probably wear one out. All the show's on Netflix now, and uh, it kind of it went on Netflix, and then they made a deal to bring the show back, because it was over for a while there. Really was shit, because I love the show so much. I'm so happy that it's back. There's uh, Trailer Park Boys live at the North Pole. I don't really love the live shows. Like, uh, they do some of these live specials. Not a big fan of that, but whatever. And here is season one and two. And uh, because they've never done, they've never have released the pilot episode, I, which is kind of like a film, uh, directed by Mike, Mike Plattenberg, who did all the seasons up to season eight and the films the pilot film so yeah made a little bootleg for that myself because until they release it it'll have to do hopefully they do one day 
awesome. And the, like the pilot episode leads right up into this, so I don't understand why it's not released because it's actually part of it. But whatever. Trailer Park Boys, such a funny show. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Please, please check it out. If you like comedy, just trust me and check it out. Complete third season. Freedom 35, I believe. Is that what? I'm pretty sure that's what this one is. Wait. Season 4. Which is where I really became obsessed with this show. I'd seen a few episodes here and there, but when season 4 started airing, I watched the first one. I was hooked. Great season. Season 5. Probably the funniest one out of the original run of seasons to me. I just love it. It's so funny. Uh, season 6. The shortest of all the seasons. Six episodes. Great stuff. Six episodes, but they're really good episodes, but still, should have been ten, at least. The complete seventh season, which was kind of like the last season, they wrapped it up with this uh, Say Goodnight to the Bad Guy, which led into the second movie, and that was supposed supposed to be like the big end of the show. This is a really great episode, it's about uh, 45 minutes or so, hilarious episode, ends great. So here's the double pack. Has uh, Trailer Park Boys the movie, which came out around season five, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, it was originally called the Big Dirty, I believe. I really wish that's what they went with, but whatever. Very funny movie. The second one was even funnier, and kind of like the final episode at the time that they weren't going to make anymore. Trailer Park Boys Countdown to Liquor Day. Absolutely hilarious. And then they came back with Trailer Park Boys, Don't Legalize It, the third movie. Best of the movies, I really, really like this one. So funny. Just doesn't get much better than that movie. Then they came back on Netflix with the new seasons. Um, season 8, decent. That's one nice looking fucking kitty right there. And season 9, which I liked. Just a little less than season 8, but pretty funny overall. I really did enjoy the season. Just There was a few parts that kind of took it a notch lower than season 8. Season 10 is out now on Netflix. Uh, it's it's great. The first six episodes, uh, specifically in the final episode, but episodes 7, 8, 9, they introduce... They just kind of break a rule for me. They like involve Snoop Dogg, Tom Arnold, Doug Benson, Jimmy Kimmel... It just kind of didn't really play that well for me anyways, and it was just kind of silly, but, and the show always is silly, but just that kind of bothered me. But it didn't ruin it, it just didn't seem right. Hopefully season 11 they learn from that. The only, the only, uh, uh, celebrity I want to see on this show is Sebastian Bach, um, Swearnet, the movie. They also have a website called Swearnet, and they made a movie sort of based on that and it's a very funny movie hilarious as all hell check it out if you haven't very funny um they also had a show called the drunken on drugs variety hour but i hate it i thought it was terrible maybe it was the sting but i've watched it a few times just trying to see if maybe i was being too harsh but it sucks uh tom green inside and outside the box the original uh canadian show this is all the original episodes from the Tom Green show. And then he went and did, like, the Subway Monkey Hour or something like that. I stopped watching around then. But I used to love this show. He even has an episode where he's in my small little town. Pretty cool. Uh, Jackass. The box set here. This includes all the original episodes from the uh, three seasons, I think. So, yeah. Um... There were segments missing, so they went ahead and released the Lost Tapes, which is pretty cool. Love Jackass, so funny. So funny. Can't. I love this crew. They did. They work so well together. I really think they should bring back a show with new guys and just have the old crew kind of like hosting it, because they don't necessarily have to do the stunts. Stunts, people getting hurt is always funny, but they really had a good camaraderie, and they were all very funny, so... If they're not going to come back with any more, they should just get a younger crew who will do it and then be there, you know. Anyways, Jackass, the movie, 
really great movie. I enjoyed the first one quite a bit. But number two was is still probably my favorite of the Jackass movies. So hardcore. All the stunts and everything's just so crazy and funny and outrageous. 2.5, just kind of all the stuff that they didn't put into, they made into a movie. About This one's about an hour. Really good. Pretty much any time I watch Jackass, I sit and just watch all of it. It's so great. Uh, Jackass 3, the final movie. Hopefully they do another movie, but I don't know if they ever will. At least with themselves in it. Like I said, they could probably host it really easily. Jackass 3.5. This one's more like an hour and 20. Really funny. And then they went ahead and did Bad Grandpa. Jackass presents Bad Grandpa. I never expect... I thought this was kind of going to suck. I didn't really have high hopes for the, it at all. But it came out. It was hilarious as all hell. And uh, really worked. Very funny. And Bad Grandpa 0.5. And we got ourselves Steve-O. The early years, Steve-O was probably my favorite out of all the Jackass guys. He's just the most fucking crazy of them all. Definitely had a problem, but he's really good. He's doing really good now. But it's just kind of... He was absolutely out of control. Here's the Don't Try This at Home, Volume 1, Steve-O. This is probably the worst out of the trilogy of Don't Try This at Home. Just too short. Good stunts and stuff, just very short. Here's the the tour, volume two. Really good stuff there. And my favorite of the three, out on bail. Absolutely insane. This comes with a uh, the bonus disc, which is like its own thing called Steve O PCP Save My Life. Absolutely insane. Steve O smokes PCP, and they we follow his journey. <coughs> and uh, also in here, I include an, another little sort of bootleg sleeve. Uh, Howard Stern appearance where he was absolutely out of his mind trying to promote this rap album he was doing and the Rise and Demise MTV special which was uh, pretty illuminating on how bad he was off and him kind of going through it and how bad he got and like I said now he's doing great uh, read his book it's fantastic uh, Wild Boys first season really need to get season three and four even though they're the weaker of the four seasons the first two seasons are amazing, but the third and fourth are, they just kind of, I don't know, Pontius is always hardcore, but Steve-O, you can tell he's kind of had it, but, you know, you should uh, give it all you got if you're going to be doing it, but whatever. Again, like I was saying, he was pretty fucked up on drugs, so God only knows where he was at, headspace-wise. First season, absolutely fantastic. Uh, second season... Like I said, just as great. I got both of these on a Facebook deal for 10 bucks, and they weren't even opened yet. It was such a good deal. Here is Beavis and Butthead, Volume 2, or Volume 1, the Mike Judge Collection. Like I said, I grew up on this show. It's my favorite animated show of all time. Absolutely love it. Here's Volume 2, Mike Judge Collection. Uh, these are all the episodes he think didn't suck. <laughs> so, um, there are a few missing from this, but not really anything of too much of uh, too, that's too upsetting uh, Beavis and Butthead Volume 3 and the reboot Volume 4 I really wish they would have kept with it I don't understand why MTV would cancel it and if they don't think it fits their uh, uh, audience anymore you know make a deal with him where you could still sell fucking Beavis and Butthead underwear and shit like that but he gets the ability to make the show elsewhere like HBO where he's doing Silicon Valley that would be a perfect fit imagine Beavis and Butthead uncensored Beavis and Butthead do America great movie I love this I've watched it so much Boondocks the complete uncensored series great stuff here this is actually quite expensive nowadays but I got it on a flash sale for 18 bucks great sort of anime, not really anime, but kind of that style uh, show that this hilarious family definitely and it's all on Netflix and HD so if you haven't seen the boondocks you like comedy, check it out I got Archer here, really like Archer love season 6 uh, absolutely love season 7, it's on TV right now, but season 6 just came out it's a little too expensive every black friday they come out for like 10 11 bucks so i'll be waiting 
but uh, I got season one. Probably the worst season of them all to me. I'm surprised I continued on with the show, but it's still got its moments. But it, this show just gets better each season, so power through the first season, and eventually you'll get to the really great Archer. Uh, season two. Love the artwork on these. Season three. Really good stuff. Season 4, I really can't get it out of the slip, but it's kind of got a similar interior artwork and this really cool slip cover here. Archer Season 4. Season 6 has a similar slip cover. And Archer Season 5, Archer Vice. Really great. I love what happens in this season. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me laugh. I definitely need to sit and after Season 7, I'm probably going to marathon all of them again on Netflix. Anyways, continuing on, Seinfeld, almost done here. Seinfeld, what can you say? One of the best shows of all time, so funny. Here's season one and two. Season three. Season four, just so many classic episodes. Season five. There's a box set for this, but I really hate how they got like the paper page sort of deal. I really like the uh, this packaging. Season, sorry, season six, season seven, the last season uh, with Larry David, season eight, and the final season, season nine. People complain about the finale, but I, I enjoy it. It's still pretty funny to me. Really love Seinfeld. Kirby Enthusiasm, Larry David created his own show. Kind of like Seinfeld, but not really. It's more like Larry David <laughs> and uh, this Kirby Enthusiasm HBO. I love the show. I've watched through it quite a few times already. I love it. Season 1. Season 2. I know some people have a problem with it because they get annoyed by him or whatever, but that's kind of the point. Uh, season 3. And it's just funny to me. It's it's like Seinfeld .0 or whatever, .5 or how, whatever you'd say. Uh, season 4. Great season. Season 5. Season 6. Season 7, which is pretty much the Seinfeld reunion. Probably as good as you're gonna ever going to get. and takes place over every episode. It's really cool. Like a little part here and a little part there. They're doing the Seinfeld reunion. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, and then the final season, unfortunately. I really hope they were coming back for a season 9, but whatever. The last episode... Uh, Larry David versus Michael J. Fox is just so great. Love the show. This I just picked up recently, so if I haven't posted an update video yet, uh, you will see that in the update video. But here's Louis, season one. Gotta love Louis C.K. I was really surprised. Uh, I got this a, a bundle from this awesome store I started frequenting in a small town outside of mine, and he gives me such good deals. And I got all three seasons. One season of this is like $25, $30 on Amazon. He gave me all three for $25. Great deal. And this is the season one. I was surprised to see that the one side of the disc is a Blu-ray and the other side is a DVD. But the other two are just DVD. I was surprised to see that. Love this show. It's so funny. A little artsy at moments, like a independent sort of flick deal. But it's still really funny to me. Season 2, and Season 3. I definitely need to pick up 4 and 5. Hopefully he comes back with Season 6, but I don't know if it'll ever happen, at least for a while. He seems to kind of do it as he likes. Um, here's the 70s show, not much to say. Great sitcom. Really enjoyed this when it was on TV. Season 1, these are the Miller Creek re-releases. Season 2, wouldn't mind getting the blu-ray box set for this but I'm not too upset if I never do I only paid not very much for each season of this season three really like the artwork on these though season four season five six seven this is kind of, this is good season but it's the last good season season eight is pretty bad because Eric's not there it's kind of not really that great, but it's okay. The final episode's pretty decent anyways. But definitely the weakest season is unfortunately the last one. The Chappelle Show, the complete series, has season one, two, and all the lost 
uh, episodes. Awesome show. One of the best of all time. So funny. So many classic bits and sketches. Really wish he would have kept going, but whatever. It is what it is. The Ali G show. The complete series. Uh, this is season one and two. Funny as hell show. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen's great. Here's the movie. Ali G in the house. Borat. What is it called again? Cultural Learnings of an American for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. <laughs> great movie. Um, Bruno. Good movie. It's pretty outrageous. And Dictator, which isn't part of the Ali G, but it's definitely in the same vein, Sasha Baron Cohen. So I'll probably put, when uh, Brothers Grimsey comes out, I'll probably also put that up here with these. Anyways, and the last two seasons, we got ourselves, oh, my, Senji, my Cylon fell down. Uh, Battlestar Galactica on Blu-ray, the complete set. Absolutely love this show. Not going to pull them out because they're in that box and it's a little tricky. But season one, two, three, and four complete, plus the movies. Uh, Razors and season three or four and the plan is right there. And Blood and Chrome. And last but definitely not least, there's all the crew right there in Funko. <laughs> um, Star Trek The Next Generation Blu-ray re-releases. Re Absolutely love this show. Start to finish. Fantastic. Love these releases releases as well. Seen a new box set for it, but I didn't really like it. I thought it was kind of cheap. Season 1. Season 2. Season 3, where it really starts hitting its stride. 4. 5. And also one of the best finales of all time. Season 6. And season seven, the final season, great stuff. Also like Voyager and Deep Space Nine. Not a, I like the original, but I'm not. That's not something I'd rewatch a lot. So, and it's pretty expensive, so I don't think I'll ever buy them. But I got all the movies in the, for both. So, but yeah, that is my TV collection. Um, like I said, there's quite a few things I'd like to upgrade the Blu-ray. Maybe just to save space, but also just because I love the shows, Breaking Bad in particular, The Wire, Sopranos. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, be looking out for my complete uh, film collection, which is going to be a beaster. If you thought this one was long, that one's prob probably going to be pretty long. Probably do a VHS collection video, because I got quite a bit. Um, probably separate VHS and Disney VHS, I'm not sure exactly. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, I'll keep, I'll check in the next one, and until then, as always, be easy. Mahalo. Uh.